Hi, my name is Daniel Casey, and today we're going to be looking at a couple of modules in uh, in order to edit this uh, this image. I've done some brief uh, exposure, color calibration, charting, color balance, RGB, and filmic RGB. But the ones that I'd like to look at specifically today would be for the one one that I use very often is the rotate and perspective, especially when I when you're dealing with landscape uh, to make sure that your horizon is correct. So this is something that I always do. So let's try that, the rotate and perspective. So you would come here and then you would right click and set your horizon here so that it's level. So that has adjusted that. Now another one, especially when dealing with landscape and with landscape photo that you may have some haze, as you can see in this particular image, then we would potentially turn that on, that sort of haze uh, removal module. So generally just by turning that module on, it does a pretty good job at just removing a little bit of the haze. And that's basically what I would normally do. But if you want to do more, there's there's only a few sliders here, but uh, you don't want to overdo it. So that's the haze. And the final one that I would probably touched upon today would be the retouch module, because I think that's a very important module that I very often use in many um, of my photo editing. So let's go retouch. Right here, let's turn on the retouch module. And let's open the retouch module. So the retouch module, there's generally two icons that I use. The first one is this sort of healing tool, and the other one is the cloning tool. Very often, I would try the healing tool first, and if it does a pretty good job, especially if you have a little bit of complexity in your retouching, this works pretty well. Sometimes you could use the cloning tool if it's just copying something that you know that it's exactly almost the same. Like let's say that you're doing a sky or something like that. And if you find that the healing tool does not work very well, then you could use the cloning tool. But that's basically the two that I would generally use and that sort of uh, works pretty well. So here in the retouch, I wanna get rid of this rock here, part of my composition. So let's zoom in by just turning the wheel here and moving our little cursor so that we can get sort of this rock component. So there's different ways that you can do that. You can use a brush. We'll try that initially just to see what it does. So if I want to get my brush a little smaller, we don't want to do something like this. And then we want to move sort of this path. Generally this, you want to move it so that it's basically reproducing what you're trying to get rid of. And let's see what this does. It's actually not that bad. If we just click on this, it's not that bad, but I mean, I think we can do better than that. So let's click back on this. And if I come here and I click on my, um, my path and then I right click, it deletes it. So we're back to where we were. You can all use you can all use always use this sort of pat tool, but the one that I like to use very very often is this um, the circular tool here. So basically, again, when you're doing this, you can enlarge or get your tool smaller, but it's generally uh, best when you're going towards the same gradient, such as like this. So you go from there to here and you do more than one. So you, if you wanna do multiple of these, basically I've only had one sort of retouch here, but if you wanna do multiple, all you need to do is click on control and your device here. So control circle, and then you can start doing multiple ones. So let's say we start here, we do one like so. Do another one here like so. Do a third one. 
this is actually pretty good. Sometimes it may help just to get sort of your area look slightly bigger and do just another one to finish it off, just like this. And again, you keep on the gradient, sort of the same. And actually, this did not help. So what we would do, we would come here, we would take that large one here, and we click on it, then we would right click to delete it. And then we would keep the smaller ones or add more smaller ones unless until it really corrects it. So in this particular case, let's do another one, get it smaller and we'll get rid of some of these small rocks again, going from here and getting rid of this one as well. Well, click it again, like so pretty much that way. So if we remove that, we close this, and we zoom out, that's basically using the retouch module and getting rid of this particular rock right here. I think the retouch module is very useful in many instances, uh, so hopefully this will be helpful for you guys as well.